Previously, we made a video on uh, how to prepare for the verbal section. Now, we will look at how to ace the DLR section for cat preparation. I do not fix problems. I fix my thinking. The problems fix themselves. Lot of aspirants ask me this question. I am unable to find a structured approach for this DLR section. How do I fix this? What should be my approach for this section? There are three parts to creating a structure in terms of DLR preparation or how do you actually approach any puzzle in terms of DLR. The first part is the most simple part which is understanding what the question means. The second part is figuring out how do I approach this puzzle, this specific question. And the last part is actually solving, computing, getting to the right answer. Uh, we'll may, uh, we will look at this from the reverse order. So how do you look at or how do you solve and get better at getting to the answer will be the first thing that we'll be covering. You do a lot of puzzles. You solve high quality puzzles. You actually solve CAT 17 and 18 papers for DLR. You get better at how do I solve this? How do I compute? How do I improve my computational ability and ability to get to the answer from the moment I understand how do I approach this question? So that is something that can be fixed with practice. So that is something that is tangibly available for your DLR preparation. So definitely make use of that idea. The second idea in this is figuring out the approach. How do I become better at figuring out the approach of any specific DLR puzzle? How do I go about it? Figuring out is something from my point of view is more about intuition. That sense of what could work and what could not work. Uh, usually we call this a difference between men and boy stuff. So the idea is you practice a lot, but practice already you covered with the other idea as well. But what more should I do about figuring out how do I approach this question? You develop that sense of intuition. So how do I go about it? You solve a lot of things that are not directly related to DI and LR preparation. So you need to be solving puzzles, ideas that can keep you sharp, keep you engaged. For example, solve Sudoku, solve something called 2048. Even to go to the extent of solving uh, crossword puzzles. Anything that will help you keep deciphering things, help you know, okay, there's something sitting inside this. How do I figure that out? That will keep you keep yourself sharp and that will help you in terms of figuring out the right approach for any DLR puzzle. We started off the approach with an idea of how do I understand the question literally. So now we will cover that idea. That is something that usually people take it for granted. People think, hey, I am good at English, I read a question, I comprehend this question. That is not as simple as what you think so. And from what I have heard feedback and what I have talked with a lot of uh, uh, students who are struggling with DLR, what I get to know is that they usually struggle or they don't know that they are struggling with the part where they take a lot of time to understand the question correctly. So think about it, if you don't get the understanding part correct in the first go, then you are trying to figure out a question without even knowing what the correct question is. And then you are trying to solve the question without even figuring out how to have the right approach. So this entire process, the time that you spend, let's say, 8 minutes into a puzzle, if your first part of understanding the question literally is not set in place, then your 8 minutes or 10 minutes or even 20 minutes that you get into a puzzle is going to be a waste of time. So make sure you understand questions really well. Okay, so how, how do I fix this gap? Let's say I have this gap and now after seeing this video, you realize this is a gap that you probably might have and you want to fix this gap. How do you go about this? You try and solve questions that are much simpler than CAT level. Um, the campus preparation level or banking exam level of puzzles where you have a lot of verbal puzzles where you have seating arrangement. Very simple straightforward puzzles that you can solve in like 15-20 seconds. You, you collect a bunch of them and you solve a lot of them. You keep doing them again and again even if you are repeating the same puzzle over and over. It is still going to be okay because it will get you to the grind of reading a puzzle and then immediately understanding what this is about. I guess that is very vital in terms of solving any DLR puzzle. There is another question that I get. That is, uh, either the puzzles are too basic for me to solve or they are too tough for me to comprehend. How do I make this transition from here to there? You solve a lot of too basic puzzles so that you get your basics right and then you go on to solving tougher puzzles where a good faculty or a mentor comes into place. So you have a lot of tough puzzles. You've solved a lot of basic puzzles. Now you are trying to solve difficult puzzles, cat level puzzles. Now you, you don't get to the answer in the first step. You don't know how do I approach this question. That is when you try a puzzle for let's say 30 minutes, 45 minutes, be even an hour. After that you go watch a proper video solution. The solution will tell you 
maybe this is where you got stuck, maybe this is how you should have thought and I guess that will add lot of value in your DLR preparation. So you should look forward for a course that has absolutely detailed solution that teaches you the puzzle from the eyes of the creator that is very vital. So I am offers exactly that as well. So the link will be posted somewhere here or there. So do check that out as well. Uh, but you need to be able to take help of a mentor who will tell you how to look at a puzzle, how to crack that puzzle, what is that juicy idea sitting inside the puzzle and I guess that is very vital. I also get this question, I am stuck in my DLR preparation, I don't know where am I, how, where am I headed to and my mock scores are poor or bad, I am not able to solve tough questions, how do I go about it? I, I know that I am telling this for the third time in the same video, go to your basics, basics are absolutely vital, solve very simple straightforward puzzles just for the heck of it, keep building your intuition with time, both of these will add up to solving good quality puzzles or at least taking you to one step before solving good quality puzzles. If you want to learn solving tougher good quality puzzles, the best places to look at is CAT 17 and CAT 18 papers. With every passing year, DLR difficulty has gone up significantly and I know that you can take value from solving actual puzzles. You also realize that any coaching institute can teach you 100 different types of puzzles. Even we at 2 have 120 plus different high quality puzzles there. But CAT can and will ask you 8 new puzzles that are completely different from the 100 puzzles taught by any institute. So you need to learn the idea of how do I look at any puzzle and crack and think about that puzzle rather than learning to solve, how do I solve this one puzzle. I guess that is very vital in terms of your DLR preparation and I also think 2IM's online course for DLR provides you exactly with that. We tell you how do you think about this idea, how do you approach this idea and I think that is very vital for your DLR preparation. So how do I get better at getting a better score in this DLR section? The one key idea other than preparation, we saw all about preparing, how do you prepare, how do you learn and all of that so far. But one more idea that you need to remember in terms of looking at it as a section is that not wasting time. That is a very, very crucial and vital idea to remember. The only difference between people who got a 98 and a 78 in the DLR section are the ones who chose the right puzzles and the ones who did not or were not able to choose that right puzzle. So remember, everyone has few strengths and few weaknesses. If you know it's a complex table based DA puzzle, you know you are not very comfortable with that. The moment you skim through that puzzle, skip that puzzle. At least mark it for later and then come back to it later. But don't sit in a puzzle that is actually tough for you. So the easiest way to start off with this is knowing what kind of puzzles I am not good at and what kind of puzzles I am actually good at. So have that in mind and then start from that. I usually what I do when I get into this paper is that I spend 3-4 minutes looking through all 8 puzzles and then I make a mark on the notepad that they give knowing that okay puzzle 2 I am not going to touch at all. Puzzle 3 maybe I will touch but later not now. Puzzle 4 and 5 seems to be the easiest puzzles I do that. Even in the exam where I uh, cat 15 when I scored 97 in the DILR section I knew that those were the, the puzzles that I had attended were the easiest puzzles of the entire lot. I know that for sure. That also happened to be the case with CAT 18 as well. So take value from that. Choosing the right puzzle is absolutely vital if you want to maximize your score in your DLR section.